besties, this is how my DL tried to expose me, right? Now, this is a very juicy story time, girl. So, get comfortable, pop your popcorn, and let's go. So, mind you, so there it is, DL. I was in freshman high school, so I was either 15, I think 14 or 15, and he was 16, right? So, basically... He had a girlfriend or whatnot, but I could tell. Now, Maya, I didn't even think he was DL. That's like, that's why these days I can tell, but I still be like, what? But anyway, he had a girlfriend, and the girlfriend stayed out of state and stuff, and he would always, like, look at me. Like, I'll just be, like, on, like, my phone. Like, he'll just, like, be, like, staring at me. Maya, it kind of creeped him, me out because why are you just staring? But then again, I was, I don't know, but... Anyway, we started, he tried to talk to me. Now, mind you, he wasn't my type. I'm not being funny or nothing. He typing, he was kind of slow. I ain't going to say, yeah, he was kind of slow. And I'm not being, like, funny. Like, he is a, he was supposed to be in 11th grade, but he was in 10th grade. And not even that, he just wasn't my type. So, anyway, he tried to talk to me. And I was being nice. Like, I'm, like I didn't flirt with with him but i was just you know talking to him and being nice and he kind of it was just weird like he started catching feelings and whatnot and he texted me late at night on ig he was like what you doing and he all and you can tell he was like how did you know you, you was gay and if any boys say that they're trying to experiment and stuff they trying to you know you know but anyway bestie so he got mad which he got mad because I wouldn't talk to him basically because he wanted to date me and he and I didn't like him. And, you know, I'm not the type of person to lead somebody on because I don't like being led on. So I didn't lead him on. Like I was like, I basically said I'm really not dating nobody. I was just focused on myself. But that was a lie. I, he just wasn't my type. So, basically, he got mad and was going live talking about me. Now, mind you, I'm a, like, openly gay person. Like, everybody in my city knows I'm gay. Everybody at the high school knows I'm gay. Like, just everybody knows I'm gay. I'm very, like, open about it because I don't care. So, he went on live, tried to expose me, and was like, oh, um, I'm this and this. And just basically lying to me, saying some ex just lying and saying some bad stuff, explicit stuff that I cannot say on TikTok, but you know, yeah, just lying on me and this and this, right? So I don't, it's not mind you, he was slow. So when he tried to expose me, he ended up outing himself because he showed us on the call. And mind you, everybody knows I'm gay. So that's normal for me because, of course, I'm going to talk to boys. I'm gay. I like boys. So, but people thought he was straight, but he had a girlfriend, two girlfriends, one in a different state and one in another city. You know, people know he's either bi or gay. I'm really not for sure. I'm, I'm assuming bi, but now people know he's bi and like boys. And what and bestie, and if you took anything from this short story time bestie, please be careful on talking to the slow guys because they can't really cope with stuff like that. Like I'm, like I'm not even laughing. Like I'm being so dead for real they can't really cope with certain stuff basically so just be careful if you do talk to a slow guy basically kind of be careful because they're crazy because he tried to expose me but everybody knows i'm gay so he like i'm a, like when like that was just weird to me bestie and gotta go and until next time bestie love you bestie